What's up, Jordan? Yeah, I got I got a couple of really cool ones now. Very cool mods on them. That we were under occupation. You just missed two hours of straight combat. It's the most exciting this game's ever been. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war, the government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. Uh, <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn then. <coughs> give me the map. Like, it's so weird. Like. Uh, no, we're not too far past the last episode. Um, I just did that last Three mission. Three months on this, the road. That was just Three a level months right of after it. trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. Uh, basically what happened is that after we escape the first area with the train the whole original mission was to we were you know Artyom got the radio signal from what we thought was the real remaining Russian government so the colonel wanted to go there and talk to them and like you know sort out all the political conflict that's happening uh, but when we got to the underground bunker it turns out that it had, it had been long overrun by a group of insane like the well soldiers had originally gone there at the beginning of the war also looking for the government and the government wasn't there for them either so they got locked in this underground bunker for 20 years with no food or anything obviously they went insane and turned into cannibals so when we showed up we were met with an entire underground bunker of lunatic cannibals that I just mowed my way through for the last two hours no stealth or anything. It's a full-on combat section. You even have the option for stealth. They all just were shooting at you the whole time. A lot of fun. But I guess this is the third area of the game. There's my girl.
I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Again with the women, the only thing anybody cares about in this game is women. Like what happened to all the women? I think that's the bigger so mystery no, here. I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in the village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. But how are the men doing in here? Stepan is the worst off. Uh, the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. Right. Ada, you and Amir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Amir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal, but it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. Why didn't you say so before? Because you never asked! <coughs> Is the injection system in working order? I would need to check it. Well, take rest and run the checks. Oh well, yeah, we'll take care of it chick chuck no problem. But uh, that ain't giving us no diesel. Hmm. Judging how the locals drive around, it will be much easier to get our hands on diesel than coal around here. What about the water? Can't run without it, but our tanks are dry. Let's handle problems in the order of their appearance. Alright, should I go back in the... Alright, let's go check those fuel sprinklers now. I bet they all need cleaning or something. Let's go. Let's go back and check on all the boys back here before we start. <laughs> Take a look at this map. Oh, it looks a little smaller and much easier to traverse than the other map. So, this shouldn't be awful. What's up, man? What are those? What the fuck are you doing down here? Can I not? Can I not go back into the train? Get rid of the. I don't want this gun. Get rid of this fucking gun. <laughs> Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You <laughs> this guy the all the way over here is trying to talk to me. I'll clean the place up, then we'll bring step on. It's fucking weirdo. Look at him. Look at him. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> Commence. Okay, I be off then. Anybody want to ask me for a teddy bear or guitar or anything like that before I? Alyosha's trying too hard. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off too. RTM, we can handle it here. Yes, sir. 
Dude, I got on the train before. You, the first, the literally the first hour and a half of this stream was straight up dialogue. Nobody ever stops talking. But one of the scenes was I went into Matt Clavid's little train cabin. The dude has two guitars. He already had one sitting in there. We had a little jam session. He played some incredible Russian folk music. We had a little moment. But I was like, you made me go out and get this fucking guitar, and you already he had a better one sitting in his room already. Are you going out? Look here, then. What do you got for me? This is something I finished just now. Right. Flaming How about bullets? A couple of TR bullets and fill them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now well, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly with all the sand around. What's going on in the train? Yeah, well, first, let me... See what I can do here. This gun. Can I even add mods to this gun? This gun's a fucking monster. I don't really like it, though. So... That's so much damage, but... Hmm. Pistol or rifle? Like if we're exploring, we gotta go pistol because you never know what's gonna be out there. That I don't want to make any noise. What is this? A night vision scope? Let's go the regular scope for now. Infrared laser can only be detected with a night vision device. Does that mean I myself won't even be able to see it? Now what can we add on to this fucking bad boy? Nothing. Just makes it worse. those and I need a whole bunch of shotgun bullets <clears throat> Artyom <coughs> wait I'm coming with you I think I could use a little walk right now. Oh, this is going to be Stop, a but whole you can hardly other walk. You'd better hour rest of while talking. It's not your shift. Well, Artyom, <sighs> well, maybe not. Feel kind of Katya under is the to the rescue. Now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Demir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya. What do they block off the train? I can't even. They really don't want me to, uh. To go talk to anybody either. How is Stepan doing? Or maybe they do. He's got a sunstroke. And he's dehydrated to boot. We should let him rest in a cool place. The boys are checking the station building now. We'll put him there once they're done. Oh, I hope they finish soon. Alright, sweet. Heading straight out. 
just like an incredibly large place though. And I don't even know where to start. So that's where it wants me to go. So naturally, I should go in the total opposite direction. And then work my way back. Alright. Dude, now that I know that there are, like, points of no return in these levels, so, like, if you hit a certain story mission, you literally cannot ever go back to that map, I'm going to do everything I possibly can before right, team, I we can handle it here. advance these story missions at all, because I noticed somehow, some way that I was, I'm missing, like, a whole bunch of collectibles from the first area. And had I known that before I did the last mission... I wouldn't have done the last mission, I would have searched for them before I finished. I will not make the same mistake again. Plus, if you walk around, and the enemies do not respawn, well, mutants respawn, but human enemies do not respawn in this game. So, if you have to kill a whole bunch of dudes... If I go walk around and kill everybody... Yeah, it's my worst nightmare. I'm, like, having anxiety about it. Like, look at, look at all these. I'm missing a lot, too, from the first area. Missing, 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 missing. So far, we got all the ones... We Alright, so we, we got all the ones in the last area, which is good. Although, I don't think I got all the postcards. Yeah, I missed a fucking postcard in the last year. I searched for an hour for it, and I couldn't find it. This is not meant to be. This is not meant to get 100% on this game. But, like I was saying, human enemies don't respawn, so if you kill all of them in an area, and then... <laughs> and then you have to go back for a story mission... All the enemies will be dead, so you won't have to fucking deal with them. But yes, stones have I been left unturned. Way, My first game ever, I'm betraying the channel motto. I'm not going the other way, alright? Why don't you mind your own business? We'll go wherever I want. Does this even go anywhere? Looks like there's a hole. What the fuck was that? Bunch of mutants, what else is new? Oh wow, I have no bullets for this gun. Um, that looks nightmarish. That's the shit nightmares are made of. Don't come over here, man. Jesus Christ. Nice, marked a location. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I 
keep thinking these tumbleweeds are mutants. Some kind of plant-based mutant. What's in here? Secrets. What kind of bullet is that? Oh, our, our favorite people are back in town. <coughs> Can we go in this container? Mark, what does that mean? Holy shit, that thing's not dead. Jesus, that scared the fuck out of me. Now they have camouflage. Great. Great. Just what they fucking needed. Camouflage. Go away. Stay over there. Stop chasing me. These things have never run this far in their lives. Never. Great, now this thing's back. Can I just, like, relax for five seconds? And just see what's in this cool area. Dude, get away from me. Am I alive? <laughs> I fucking survived. I survived that somehow? We're gonna happen again? This game is this game is so weird. What a weird game. Alright, so now we can we can start from an identifiable point. Actually we still gotta go that way. It doesn't even look like it, it damaged me. First, it, the whole screen goes red, like I died, but now I don't even... It's like nothing happened to me. Uh, that looks like a... Interesting little... thing. Like if it was if it was just these zombies, fine, I can handle it. Why do these things have to be flying around? Why? That looks like a giant ass bandit camp that I don't want to do during the day. But right now, this is just about exploring this territory and getting our bearings. 
figuring out how we want to attack it. So a little hut here. It's a safe house. This would be fantastic if it were a safe house and I could just change the time of day. It's not a safe house. This looks like the most uninviting place in the history of video games. This looks like you're fucking the gates of Mordor. Any zombies uh, can bury themselves in the dirt and pop up and make me shit my pants? That hurt me. That hurt me, but getting dropped 50 feet by a dragon didn't. It's like a ladder or something we can get up here with. Yeah, you can just not get up there at all. I don't really see any people, though. Unless they're not going to populate in until the actual mission where I inevitably have to storm this camp. Because it's blocking the train tracks. Yeah, that <laughs> is very cool. But that is straight up Gates of Mordor shit. No, you. How do you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Not really sure why I'm doing this right now. This will absolutely not end up anywhere productive. <laughs> I don't think I can get over there. You know what? I just saved. Fuck it. Let's just see what happens if I walk up to the gate. Not a very friendly welcome. I'm gonna load in just in case I like wasn't supposed to aggravate them that early into the game. Never know.
Alright, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? That little hut over there seems like a... I really don't know how I feel about the, uh... The open world in this game. It is amazing. It is a lot of fun. But all the older Metro games were completely linear. Uh, which allowed them to be a bit more intense and cinematic. And the last level we just did was just like that. With totally linear, directed, scripted from point A to point B. What just hissed at me? Uh, and it was definitely the most fun I've had so far in this game. It was in, it wasn't during the linear mission. Just so much more like intense and dramatic, and they're able to set up moments unlike the unlike the open world where they they kind of just have to leave it up to their AI. So I'm kind of torn right now because that's what. The older metros were also really well known for was their their cinematic story beats. Nope, don't want to go down there. It also just sucks that I can't, like, if I don't want to kill anybody, I pretty much cannot do this during the day. Is there anybody in there? Please get away and just let me do this. Maybe it's just mutants in here. Uh, that doesn't look terrifying at all. Can I get in that door? What the fuck am I stuck on? Look at this fucking thing. Oh my god, I almost just shit my pants, dude. Look at this motherfucker. And this one up here now. I need bullets for this gun so badly. Not the brick! Not the brick! Any, any other camouflaging assholes? Yes, right there. This is this is so 
fucking creepy, man. Jesus. Just when you think it couldn't get any creepier in this game. And you. I don't trust this room at all. Outside buildings separately. Just so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. I really have to pee, so I'll be back in one second. Alright, back in the game. Back in the game. See what kind of madness is up here. Camouflage. Where are you? Yeah. Shut up up there, wherever the fuck you are. Come down here and say it to my face. Fuck off. Uh, now he's... <laughs> Fucking... I already died once to an enemy glitching through a wall. I'm not gonna do it again. That's all this game needed was jump scares. That's just like icing on the cake. Making that sound. Someone right behind this wall.
dickhead. Where are you, Bar? There you are. Since when can these things climb over walls like that? Since when? Secret? No. Looks like it's finished. Right. Yeah, I got all this shit. Let's go up again. Guys are wasting me. Wa waste. These guys are making me waste a whole bunch of bullets. <laughs> fucking asshole, man! I, I knew it. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. Uh, this looks like not very friendly terrain that I'm going to fall through immediately. Is there any way to get out to that part of the map? <laughs> Interesting. Dude, I didn't even know you were still watching. I figured you would have freaked out by now. <laughs> they really nailed it all. They got the flies buzzing. I hate it, man. I hate it. This this one <laughs> genre of game that I never ever play, and it's horror for that reason. I think I've I don't I don't even know. I don't think I've ever played. I mean, I've played like hundreds of video games. I don't think I've ever played one single straight up horror game on my own. 
I refuse. Uh, I think I saw all this. I think I saw this shit in the in the gameplay, uh, pre-release gameplay footage. I'm definitely gonna get swarmed by mutants in five seconds. Oh, what kind of gun is that? I'm afraid to pick it up. As soon as I pick it up, I'm gonna. Oh, what is this? Looks like some night vision goggle enhancements. Oh, my, you couldn't pay me enough. You couldn't pay me enough money to do a VR horror. Get rid of this gun because I don't have any bullets left for it. And see what this is all. Wow, this gun looks like it's comes in fucking handy. What kind of is this? Also a shotgun? This is a better shotgun. What can I do with this bad boy? Audio tape. How long do we hold out in this desert for? No purpose. No <sighs> Who are we supposed to protect? The locals who took just a few years to revert to the Stone Age? Then they came. Ex military, ex oil rig workers, and ex mobsters. Well, the latter were not so ex. These did have a purpose, an idea. I'm sure we laughed at them at first. Playing gods. But then the notion of taking a shot at creating a semblance of order out of this chaos slowly sunk in. In the end, we all joined that flame swallowing circus. Well, this world is new, so cut its new gods some slack. Yeah, that's just, just straight up Mad Max, I guess. So all those. Thugs in that giant Mordor fortress are like engineers and people who work with machinery. It's a lot of ground to cover here. See what I can do with this gun. This gun does a shitload of damage. This might be, I think this is better than my other shotgun. Six round shell holder. Yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't. Oh, this does a lot of damage too. But uh, this can only shoot two bullets before I have to reload, so maybe it's time to switch this one out for something else. Maybe just a normal pistol. Oh, I can't switch out my guns here. I can only switch them out on the train. Alright. And what's this upgrade? This night vision system combines two technologies, heat vision and visible light amplification. Such systems were only available to special forces before the war. Hmm. 
Yeah, that seems more useful than my flashlight charger. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not afraid of anything with this around. I don't know if I want to take that I don't know if I want to take that zip line down. It looks like it's just too... When I land, I'm going to be too vulnerable. I'm be making noise and shit. <laughs> so now it's turning daytime, and I don't want it to turn daytime. I want to go... You know what, let's let's sleep and make it the morning. Although if I do that, is it all the mutants in here gonna respawn? Okay, so I can get rid of one of these shotguns now. I'll take this guy. And... What can I do to you? gun is this? Is this a sniper? No. This is kind of an AK. I'm so paranoid about missing postcards now that I'm just like scanning the walls everywhere. I don't know how I've been missing them. It's so stupid though. I don't want to. I don't want to have to worry about. It. At least the books like are in plain sight, and you just have to go looking in the rooms. The postcards, I, s I don't know how I missed the other one. It was a small self-contained level, and I went back through the whole thing and looked for it, and I scanned every wall in every room, and I couldn't find it. Alright, so let's ch take a look, and I'm sure there's nothing, nothing's gonna jump out at me in here. No way. I never wanted to be able to close doors more in any game. Why does this game not let me close doors behind me?
this is some kind of like post on. Building's done. What are we on this building? That has a skull at its entrance. I like just don't want to go in here. This is the worst. This is the worst thing ever. Come on, just get it over with. Just jump out. I hear you. Blood on the ground and shit. I hear you breathing. Just fucking come on. I feel like Arnie. I feel like Arnie in the Predator. Just do it. Kill me. There is that it. There we go. Dude, I think I like the I think I like the other shotgun better, man. This one takes very long to reload. Jesus, it's still going. you fuck come on is that it What is that? What is that? I just heard a car pull up. That rack. Is that your soul? Jesus. That fucker's asking for it. Jesus. Soul, come the fuck out. You came over to see our shit. Who the fuck are you taking? That's for? crazy, man. That that Didn't we fucking tell you, motherfucker? That triggered these guys to come in here. Oh, I'm like, I have night vision goggles. Why don't I just put those on?
it kind of does make it more terrifying because now I don't know if I'm in the dark or not. Like, I don't know if they can see me. Jesus, it's so dark without them. My fucking... Are you kidding me with my battery? Are you, I mean, are you kidding me? These guys are going to be, like, chilling right out here. They're definitely out there. Run away, run away. It's like, I can't even explore the rest of these buildings now, because... Wow, there's a lot of guys over there can't stop me from exploring. Nobody can stop me from exploring. Wow, that, uh, Mordor looks like it has quite the nightlife. Look at that shit. A little fireworks show going on over there. I find myself saying that a lot in this game. I want to get in there. Why do they have to be there? Night vision makes it incredibly hard to see. A little ladder? A little ladder action? We got up here. Gives us a nice little lay of the land. I like it. How come this this dragon isn't attacking these guys down here, hmm? Never mind, maybe he is. He absolutely is. Nice. Don't come over here, man. Leave me alone. And don't bring these guys over here, either. So 
these two buildings are the only two I have left. You know, it's not even doing anything to them. It's not very fair. Alright. You guys hang out over there. And I'm gonna go explore over here. Doesn't even look like this anything. Helicopter. Yeah, I don't think he's pinned, guys. Uh, relatively certain he has wings. They see me now? What the fuck? And the music immediately stops. Alright. Well, it looks like we finish that area right on cue to end the stream. I kind of can't help but come to look right over here real quick because we got chased away from this last time. I mean, this is like has a map marker but what does it mean I guess that's is that what it means that I'm gonna get fucking destroyed I don't know why I'm wasting the bullets Dude, it's the snakes. It's definitely... There it is. I finally see one. You know what? You know what? I don't, I don't even... I'm just going to load back to where we were and live to fight another day. Oh, there's a hint right there. You can find better weapons or upgraded monster layers. Look for skull markings on your map.
which is exactly what that just was. How could there be a better weapon or an upgrade just in the middle of the desert? There's like nothing over there. Is there? It's a definite skull marking for sure. Not really understanding how there could be an upgrade in here. What well, these these we, these tumbleweeds are definitely alive, dude. They're definitely these two are like fighting each other. Directly on top of the skull. I just don't really see how there could be an upgrade in here. Uh, take it back. Maybe is it this guy? Look how far away these things are coming from. Come on. Can I just search for this upgrade that probably doesn't exist now? Fuck you. Oh, that just gave me a fucking heart attack. Uh, unless the upgrade is something over here.
Or unless this game is just absolutely full of shit. That could also be a possibility. So I already looked over here, like way in the beginning. Ah, oh, what is this? Can I drive this around? I don't have the key? What does this mean? I forgot there are vehicles in this game. Any dead body around with a key, perchance? I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out next time.